Well, you know, Dre and Cube did Natural Born Killer. Yeah. Off of the Murder Was a Case soundtrack. There was, there was talks of like an NWA reunion. I mean, that was Cube songs. You know, it wasn't a re- NWA. It just no, the, 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 there was a song. Hello. Hello. Chin check. Chin check. Oh. So you see these little spatterings of yeah. NWA. But it wasn't. It was. It just they happened to be in on the song, be in a video. But it wasn't officially a NWA song. It's Cube song. Okay. I mean, you know, why not have a couple of the ex members? You know that you guys haven't did songs together in 15 years. You know why not? But it wasn't a official NWA. People just made it into that. Okay. Do you ever see that happening? You know something? You never know what's coming. Notice I said, you never know what's coming. Because, <laughs> you know, the movie's going to come out and there's going to be a whole bunch of you attention. You never know what's coming. On NWA. You're not going to get me to bite. <laughs> <laughs> but I put it like this. Get ready. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, when, when there was these different projects with yeah. different members of NWA, were you ever part of any of these things? Nah. I was doing my porn. I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> he was doing your I porn. I was... Dre, I remember Dre when he did Up in Smoke to he come down to rehearsals and come... I was doing porn. I oh, really? So, so you just turned it all down? Yeah, I wasn't even... I mean, it just... I just never got back to, you know... He called me and, okay, I'll come. I never came. Huh. I just kept on doing my thing. You know, I'm making five movies a month, so... I ain't got time. Okay, and, and you know... These days, the porn industry is, is fucked up. Because oh, yeah, I, a, I, got, I, I left that a few yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. but back then, I know people were buying Bentleys and all types of shit <laughs> off, off their porn money. West Coast Productions. Oh, yeah. All these guys were, were definitely oh, yeah. doing well. Um, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we never know. There might be an NWA You never reunion. know. Might be something. Right. You never know. I mean, right. you know. You know, Might be a postcard or something. Because <laughs> DOC still, still, you know, doing his thing. I oh, mean, yeah. He's every, still everyone, writing with Dre and stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Um, did you work on Detox at all? Uh-uh. So, so you and Dre have not worked on music? Oh, no. No, not all. since 91. Since 91. Since 91. Oh, yeah. Wow. It just, I just, I went into the movies. I wouldn't think about the music. The, the movies was like the beginning of the music when it was fun. You know, no, it wasn't a bunch of, like when we started, it wasn't a bunch of groups. It wasn't a hundred rap groups and, you know, a hundred thousand albums out. You know, it wasn't no competition. Just like the movie. When I got into the movie, it wasn't competition. It wasn't no hip hop flavor in the, in the porn game. I brung it there. You know, it wasn't nobody even thinking about tapping that market. Sure. I was bold enough to get in it. Because that first sure. few years, I didn't even use my name. I used alias names. <laughs> but, you know, I think in 2000, that's when I just put my, started putting my face on the covers and stuff. So Sure. So, so what's next for you? Um, well, I'm back into my DJ. And I'm going out the country, you know, mm-hmm. Australia and Paris. and I, My passion was DJing. That was my first passion. So you're getting back into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A bunch of other stuff coming. I mean, it's... Be, get ready. <laughs> what were the, the big NWA songs that you were, you were responsible for that you, you feel like, you know, you've, you primarily produced? I mean, we were, it was just... It was, every song was me and Dre. Okay. Every song. Whether he did 99 more beats than me, you know, it was just me and him. Okay. All of them. Well, nobody else. Just me and him. All. Every time. So, you know, I mean... I'm not going to ask any kind of specific questions, but, mm-hmm. you know, for example, I asked uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot, mm-hmm. you know, how well he did with Baby Got Back, you know, and he, he wrote and produced it. Mm-hmm. Um, he had somewhat of an independent situation also because mm-hmm. of Rick Rubin at the time. He said he made well over $100 million oh, off that one song. The NWA didn't. <laughs> well, but, I mean, you being so instrumental with yeah. so, many, so many of the songs... Yeah. Are you, you know, did you continue to like oh, you still, live well and, you know, just the publishing? Still getting paid to this day. Okay. Still getting paid to this day. So you good. <laughs> and the movie is restarting it all over again. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be a whole nother big can of worms. <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's just, it's different. I mean, I always was in the, just in the cut. Okay. I don't like the, the glamour. I didn't care for all of that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Never was. That's, even the group wasn't like that. Sure. We went into the glamour stuff. Yeah. Not really. I feel you. We were just laid back. <laughs>